As the number of deaths from the coronavirus continues to rise around the world, everybody wants to know how long it'll be until a vaccine is ready. We would not have a vaccine that would even be ready to start to deploy for a year to a year and a half. That is the time frame. It seems like a long time, but if a vaccine for the coronavirus is ready by then, it will have been the fastest developed one in human history. When China released the genetic sequence for the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus on January 10, leading pharmaceutical companies such as Moderna Therapeutics and CanSino Biologics started developing messenger RNA-based vaccines, which work differently from traditional ones. These vaccines target the proteins that allow viruses to spread and reproduce, meaning scientists don't have to reculture virus pathogens for testing. And this is vital, as this step can take anywhere from a few months to over a decade. In the case of the coronavirus, scientists were able to extract a part of the genetic sequence and create a harmless version of it in the lab. This so-called spike protein antigen allows the virus to infect human cells and replicate, killing them off in the process. This evokes an immune response in the body that allows white blood cells to create specific antibodies to prevent antigens from attaching to human cells and stopping the virus from spreading. Scientists at Moderna Therapeutics were able to create a trial mRNA vaccine quickly, and the National Institutes of Health fast-tracked it to clinical trials in just 42 days. And this has raised some eyebrows, as preventative vaccinations don't cure diseases, but rather prime immune systems to fight them off. This means that they have to be tested on healthy people, who run the risk of side effects that could potentially make them more sick than the viruses themselves. And as vaccinations could be deployed for millions, even billions of people, they have to pass significantly more tests and protocols than most other medical treatments, which is why they often take so long to get to market. Vaccine trials take place over four phases. Phase one, a small group of adult volunteers are injected with the vaccine to determine its safety and whether it exhibits the desired immune responses. Subjects will be monitored for several months to a year for side effects. This is the phase the coronavirus vaccines are currently at. Phase two, a larger group of usually several hundred adults participates in the testing. Some of the people may belong to groups at risk of contracting the virus. Researchers and scientists will measure immune system responses, vaccination safety and proposed doses, and validate methods of delivery. This phase usually takes several months, even up to two years. Phase three. In this phase, the vaccine is trialed on tens of thousands of people to test for side effects that may not have occurred in small sample sizes. Vaccine efficacy is tested as well, which looks at whether they prevent infection and stimulate appropriate immune responses. This can take years, and only after this can a vaccine developer apply for a license. Phase four. The final phase is conducted by vaccine developers after the product is released. They have a responsibility to continually monitor vaccine efficacy and pull it from the market if it's no longer effective or create updated versions to account for mutations, which is common with influenza vaccinations. So although it may seem a long way away, a time frame of 12 to 18 months for a coronavirus vaccine is unprecedented especially given the fact that an RNA-based vaccine has never been approved before. So testing is necessary and rushing it could prove fatal. And that's happened before. In the Philippines, a breakthrough vaccine by French pharmaceutical giant Sanofi Pasteur against dengue fever was rushed to market in 2016, an election year in the nation. The vaccination program skipped essential testing for children who had never been infected with dengue. And despite warnings from specialists around the world, the Department of Health rolled out a deployment program that saw 830,000 primary school children injected with the vaccine, putting many at risk of developing aggravated symptoms. Tragically, some reports say the deaths of almost 600 children who received the vaccine are now under investigation by the public attorney's office, with officials from Sanofi Pasteur facing criminal charges from the Philippine government. So it's important to note that even though the coronavirus is spreading at a rapid rate around the world and the need for a vaccine is paramount, there are a number of tests that still need to be completed before it can go to mass production, after which some other possible problems could arise. All things considered, 12 to 18 months is a very ambitious timeline, and leading authorities need to be careful about the steps to fast-track the development of a widely available vaccine.